In this problem, we need to divide using synthetic division. And I have the fifth degree polynomial, 2x to the fifth minus 5x cubed plus 3x squared plus 7. And it's divided by the binomial of x plus 2. To use synthetic division, a divisor must look like either x plus a number or x minus a number. Since my divisor is x plus 2, we can definitely use synthetic division. The first thing we need to do is check to see if our numerator has any missing terms. I have an x to the fifth term, but I don't have an x to the fourth term. I have x cubed, x squared. There's a missing x term, and then there's a constant. So I have to put placeholders in there for all my missing terms. So I'm going to have 2x to the fifth. There's no x to the fourth term, so I put plus 0x to the fourth minus 5x cubed plus 3x squared plus 0x, that's my next placeholder, plus 7, all divided by x plus 2. So now I'm ready to set up my synthetic division. I'm going to write it down here. I need to put a number in the box. And remember, that number is not plus 2. It is minus 2. This is the 0 that goes with x plus 2. So if you set x plus 2 equal to 0, subtract 2 from both sides, you get x equals negative 2. So I put negative 2 in this box, not the positive 2. Now I'm going to strip off all my coefficients. So I have 2, 0, negative 5, positive 3, 0, and 7. Leave yourself a little bit of room. And now we're ready to start the process. So the first thing you do is you bring down the first number as is. So you bring down the 2. Now you're going to take your negative 2, multiply it by 2, and write the answer up here. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 you add these two numbers together. 0 added to a negative 4 is negative 4. Next, we multiply negative 2 times negative 4. You write the answer up here. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Add these two numbers. Negative 5 plus 8 is 3. I'm not going to write any more arrows. Things would get too confusing. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Add these two numbers. 3 added to a negative 6 is negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Write it up here. Add 0 and 6, you get 6. Repeat the process again. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. Then Add 7 and negative 12, you get negative 5. So we've now completed the process of synthetic division. Now all we have to do is interpret the results. The last number here, this is the remainder. And this big mess here, this whole thing is going to be the quotient. It doesn't look like it right now. Remember, we started out with a fifth degree term up here. The degree of this term is one less than this one. So it's just going to be x to the fourth. Then this would be x cubed, x squared, x and a constant. So if I wanted to write the answer out, I'd write 2x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3x and finally plus 6. 
and then I need my remainder, so I have minus 5, all divided by my divisor, which is x plus 2. So that is the answer for doing synthetic division on this problem. One last note, if you're doing this problem in my math lab, the way they allow you to write the answer is they put a box for the quotient, and then they have plus, there's an empty box, over the divisor. So you'll put this whole quotient in here, but since this is a plus that they already write for you, you'd have to put negative 5 in this location here.